All right, so we got a uh, H-Box popping off over something right now. Looking a little excited. And YCZ with a nice slippy hat, the banana, the banana shirt. Samus you Puff. Know, yeah, we're, we're going to have a while to talk about this one. Uh, mm -hmm. And H-Box got to milk it. So uh, to continue on what we were just saying, um, the thing I will say that's a great disappointment for me uh. is... When I was younger, I was always like, oh, wow. If You know how you know how older people were always saying, oh, like, wow, the kids are so technical because they grew up with it. They, like, understand the internet more and all that stuff. Yeah. Uh, and, like, we understand computers and a little bit better than the older generation. That's generally been true. Mm -hmm. You, I thought that the next generation that would come after me would even be more technical and, like, understand, like, be better gamers and all this sort of stuff. You know, well, they're not. Easy as, as an old man, they're not. They're actually... Hot garbage. They grew up on like yeah. tablets. Yeah. But as gamers, they're, they're, they're by and large just not very good. Uh, technically wise, they also aren't. I read it. I actually read an article about this yesterday, like literally yesterday night before I went to bed, where it's like a lot of the new like Gen Zers are going into the office, into the workplace for the first time because yeah. yeah, COVID restrictions are going away and there's uh, internships and such, right? And there's this entire wave of Gen Z kids who don't know how to use file systems because they all grew up with tablets. So they don't yeah. know how to like make a folder on a PC or how to search in Windows or whatever yeah. operating yeah. system they have. And it's crazy, like. God, God, you guys won't believe, but like actually hang out with like a 12 year old, uh, you know, just if you have like some nephews or nieces or whatever, you're like, oh my God, they don't, they don't know how to use a computer. They don't, like, they, not, don't use the not, they know how to buy not, like not in the as as well as i knew when i was 12. when i was 12 i was already like coding and shit. yeah was, I, was, I was making shit happen uh, it's not it's not the same it's actually uh guys guys have, don't have family members like, people are so weird with kids anyways um i've seen them touch them out yeah and you guys know what i'm talking about. but isn't that so disappointing i i really thought that like each sequential generation would just get like a little bit more but because it's been streamlined, both in gaming and like with computers, uh, it's it's not the same. And and I it actually in a weird way though gives you hope as an old gamer because <laughs> if I play if I play a sixteen year old kid at this at this point, I'm like this guy he didn't beat Ghosts and Goblins for the NES. He, he, no he didn't play he didn't play Ninja Gaiden. No 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 no. There's no way the games he's been you know playing. He hasn't gone through the grind. You know what gone, happens nowadays when there's a hard game. When it, when a kid gets to a hard game, they mm. they click the buy power up button for five ninety nine, swipe the credit card, and they beat it. They don't they don't got to grind anymore. They don't get the cheat codes. They just yeah swipe the credit card. And Different generation. No miles credit card in melee. There's no miles yeah. credit card in melee. You get, what are you gonna do then, huh? So, they might have the reactions, but the god gamer instincts never go away. Mm -hmm. the, the the mental. To uh, the the grind set. So they say. I mean, mainly you can you can definitely buy stuff. You can buy like better controllers, Metify lessons, uh, Summit VIPs, all that jazz. But uh, you can't buy your way into being a better player. At the end of the day, you gotta you gotta grind it out. Yeah. Um. So we have Samus Puff. So we can briefly talk about the matchup. Um. And uh, this matchup is an interesting one, um, you know, widely considered, uh, you know, Puff favorite because, you know, it's Jigglypuff and, and Samus. One yeah. character is better than the other. However, uh, Samus has a handful of things that she can do uh, that make the matchup better. And the yeah. main one is the charge shot. Uh, it's pretty much the one thing you got to mention every time Samus Puff said happens on commentary. Uh, the charge shot is the ultimate decider of the matchup. It's the thing that Samus is looking for, is trying to get. Um, it's uh, They care about having it at full power, and it covers a lot of options that um, Samus literally can't get to, right? If yeah. Puff is just doing nothing, like just back airing into the, the freaking magnifying glass, um, you know, Samus can charge the charge shot, and she mm -hmm. can charge that. Exactly. Uh, In it's similar to how against Spacey's, uh, the way you can kind of force uh, Puff to approach is by shooting the lasers, because you know, you're gonna take percent if Puff's on one side of the stage and Fox or Falcon's on the other. But for Samus, you build up this big ball of death, does a crazy amount of percent and can kill at such low percents 
that you can't let Samus charge the charge shot fully if you have the ability to not. So it's really the matchup decider there. Yeah, and YCZ's is, been at it for a while, so. Which is interesting because um, it ends up meaning that, well, like you see here, uh, Puff often uh, plays relatively aggressive against Samus. Mm -hmm. uh, which is actually the where it can get to, a bit tough because getting a Puff off you is a bit challenging against Samus. You have uh, exactly. Nair and stuff, but your, your out shield options aren't very good. Uh, yeah. You don't, really, uh, you, don't really have, you don't really have many of those because up if you shield, dash it. Yeah, up you had a shield uh, doesn't really do very much in this matchup. It builds up like a little bit percent, but Puff, because of how floaty she issues, gets away and doesn't really get comboed out of the up you had a shield. It doesn't get stuck on the side platform. And a lot of Samus's best uh, movement in options, Puff can either drift away safely, like if you nair in, Puff has the ability to drift in, like drift completely out and not get hit or outspace it with back air. Or if you dash attack and Puff just decides to pr hold the shield button, she just gets a rest and you're done. So it's kind of hard to approach as Samus against uh, Puff. So Puff can just take yeah. to the bank and just approach for you. Uh, random comment about, oh my god, that was That was mess. insane. Is four stock? This is, uh, this is brutal. Yeah. Uh, keep your head up, Leon. Um, it's just game one. Uh, the mm. thing about uh, Bia Shield I like to point out is that for whatever reason, we all like decided on 1.02. Actually, I know what the reason was. I was part of that vote. I was mm. one of the only people who voted against it. The idea at the time was this was back when we used melee discs. Mm. And uh, we were like, 1.02 is more common. And so it's like easier for TOs to source them. So this is, that's the actual origin of why we're 1.02 instead of the other version. Oh my god, that was a wild charge shot. And the way, the wall jump before the charge was also crazy. How you got back to stage because Puff was covering so many options with the aerial underneath the underneath the ledge. Oh my gosh. Okay, so and this, then this, just this, killed. Like, that was a great shot though. But the yeah. point I was trying to make is the one of the like if you actually look at the changes from the earlier versions to 1.02. They all just nerfed the mid tiers. <laughs> like the, the yeah. Samus up he gets worse, Young Link gets worse, Young Link recovery gets worse, like all these sort of things. So like my argument was like, look, if we can make it happen and at least if the player wants to provide the correct version, like why why are we like consciously making the choice to make Samus worse? <laughs> like, you just, know, it's, it never made sense to me. And and now, you know, Samus up B gets you nothing, whereas in the earlier versions, it actually gets you a down smash on top platforms. Things like that. Because people, people don't like mid tiers. I don't have to tell you. So the 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 melee conglomerate just didn't want to let the mid tiers uh, survive. I, I, since I was part of that discussion, it was, actually that was not the reason why they did. They didn't do it for any character balance. They did it because it's hard to get discs. Yeah. But um, but nowadays that doesn't actually matter in terms of how. No, we're all playing on Wii's or yeah. online. Yeah, exactly. So it's possible. Maybe wrote again. We could we could re redo that. Um, we we better. just had a tier list vote, so. Anything's possible. Also, I want to I mean, point out, I have never seen YCZ play non-green camps in my entire life. I, I've, I've watched YCZ clips for like six years or so. Like, he's, I originally main Samus. Yeah. Why is he playing purple? <laughs> um, yeah, I, I, I don't know. Maybe he's just feeling it. On Fountain, got him blended in. Use the camouflage. It's kind of like, oh mm -hmm. wow, full rest, bro. That's really crazy. Um, Still a battle-esque. It's kind of like, even if you play a different color of Doc, uh, if you kind of pick Battlefield, you should go Black Doc, just to blend yeah. in. Yeah, or Game & Watch. You just blend in with the stage. That was it a crazy be... rest, by the way. What? What? Hbox's rests are so confident. Mm -hmm. he, he played against the Scooper at a Super Smash Con pretty recently in 3 Odom. So he's definitely played this matchup recently. So I'm not surprised he's got all these rest setups and uh, looks prepared against Samus. Yeah. Both waiting and shield pretty patiently. Hbox trying to get another rest with a 101%, making the stock count as much as possible. But he's landing all these aerials and making it so hard for YC to recover. One thing I, I will tell you though universal. is the the, the the one Samus you should absolutely respect when edge guarding is YCZ. YCZ's mm -hmm. recovery is just it's a work of art. No one has put more work into recovering with any character than YCC has. Like, it's, look, Hbox is gonna try. It's not gonna happen. Trust yeah. me. Yeah, YCZ has a video on YouTube. He released it in uh, October 2021. And if no, if you are a Samus player and you've never seen it, 
Go watch it. It's the Bible of recovery. And it's called 82 Levels of Samus Recovery. And it's literally 82 different ways for Samus to recover back to stage. Using wall jumps, using bomb air dodges, like tether tricks, all sorts of crazy stuff that you've never seen Samus do. So it, it, he knows how to recover. To list them, it's one thing to list them, but YCC is the rare specimen who's implemented all 82. Like, yeah. The, the thing is, is that you'll play every other Samus and be like, ah, oh, you hit them sometimes, you know, I'm going to go out there, whatever. And you'll play Leon and you're like, bro, actually, I'm getting reversal every time. Literally every time. And you eventually just learn your place. You're like, look, <laughs> I, maybe one day I could figure out all the 82 mix-ups, but today, I'm going to stay on stage. Because <laughs> yeah. this guy's too good. Mm -hmm. But uh, not too good for h as it seems, because he's about to take... Maybe take him right. to just hold the ledge. He's gonna do the wall jump thing. Just hold the ledge. Yeah, oh, he didn't hold the ledge. Back. He doesn't know. He doesn't know. Genix, let me tell you something. <laughs> he's making it back. He's making, he's it, making back. it back. Every time he's making it back. He's making it back. The bomb pressure on the top platform, but Samus in the air. Very hard for Samus to land, especially against Pop, but making it pretty difficult for Pop to, uh, what is it, counter attack with these bombs to mix up the timing. Mm hmm. Okay, now he's on making it back. He's not going to back this time. Yeah. He's going, well, he has for SDs. Very down there, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So someone in chat said this, and I, I verified it myself to make sure this was uh, true, and it actually wasn't. But someone was saying that HBox was watching Ultimate on his stream while playing Melee. But you go to HBox's stream, and he is playing Melee on that stream. So, just want to say, he is, he's in it to win it. He, he, this is not a side gig. This is his main thing today. And you can see that too. Like he's playing really well. Not bad. I'm being told that he just switched it. He was definitely watching ult. I'm being trolled. <laughs> Insane. Well. Go get that uh go get the content grind up, King. Do what you can. Mm-hmm. Get him, Leon! Oh! oh but just the raw rest on the up B. That's hard to cover. Yeah. So you gotta be completely ready for that. The the frame window is not very it's not very lenient. One thing that uh people don't talk about often is I think um I think at like one of the Smash summits they did a like just a general reaction time comparison of like a lot of top players, like all back mm -hmm. like, who did it? They were just like curious and like let's do a reaction time test with everybody. And we actually got got everyone to do it. Uh -huh. Lizzie was obviously like inhuman and the best. And yeah. Reaction, yeah. Of course. That was no surprise. Acebox was second. Hbox's reactions are really good. I'm not so. surprised. I mean, he he's been hitting reaction tech chase rests recently as well. Like he's yeah, pretty he's proud capable. of those and labbing them. Yeah, he's capable. Um, it's just more about implementing. But like the actual ability's always been there. Mm -hmm. This should be a kill. Charge shot. No di will save you there. And uh, three socks to two. Hbox up both in games and stocks. I love how there's the combo counter. The up B counts as a, like a combo. So you hit 10 hits of the up B. Oh my God, just catches the rest. <laughs> or catches the roll with the rest. Here's the thing. Go check this out. Uh, Jigglypuff rest in a, in, a, in a floaty matchup. It's a big difference maker. Yeah. Hbox's stream is once again ultimate. <laughs> oh, no. Let's go Hbox. Let's go Hbox. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, after the game using these bombs to try to catch Julie Huff's drift in, but not really letting for anything, and this is looking like this will be curtains pretty soon. The, the classic Leon recovery to make it back. You got so many of those mix-ups. You can't really recover against rest, you just die. So, yeah, he hasn't, hasn't had the chance to do all the cool stuff. Look at this, gonna make it back. No problem. And, oh, the wave lands the dare. He's giving a statement. Like, you know, I might I might be down, but I'm not out. Two super wave dashes, yeah. two for good measure. He, he's performing. Mm -hmm. H-boxes, chat, that's what you're missing right now. That was such a beautiful air dodge to get past the, the puff back or make it back to the stage. Like, say what you want about the rest of the set. These recovers have been amazing. <laughs> you gotta appreciate it. Yeah. There's not a lot of Samus's nowadays either. So, shout out to everyone who's making the character so kick. Oh my god! What is, what is wrong with this guy? The double and the bomb into F Smash? Oh my, this guy's what? crazy! He's so good! 
What is wrong with this guy? He's so good. No one oh should be. God. No one should be good at anything in, in melee as as good as YCZ is. YCZ is a recovery. As a Samus, he's got so much. Okay, there's no way he makes this one back, right? Of course he no, makes it back. A, it's just an air dodge. Oh my god. Okay, the upper is gonna kill. Play. But wow, that yeah. that was incredible play. That was just incredible play. Honestly, good stuff to yeah. both players. Hbox showing, you know, why he's number four in the world, maybe higher at this point, definitely higher at this point. Honestly. And a YCZ showing why he is truly a master of his craft on Samus Aeron. Yeah. I love it. Mm -hmm. uh, that sets up a very spicy winners finals uh, that we'll have eventually. Um, Hbox BBB. Um, Bobby, known to do well online against Hbox. He literally beat him last time they played. That, for sure. Two days ago. <laughs> Two days ago, oh, that's yeah. right. So, so there's that for sure. You might be looking and be like, oh, Hungry Box, one of the gods. At the moment, you know, probably a top three player. Um, you know, he should be the favorite, but Bobby's just really good at that matchup. He grew up on Puffs. Yeah. So, um, he's 